someone's on the move. Wait, that power. It's Dinde! Krillin! Go on! What are you doing here? Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So, we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it! This is perfect! Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah, he's probably still sleeping. Good. We gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Ugh, made it. So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Huh. Someone's coming this way. They're super fast! <laughs> it's Frieza! Hurry, Dinde! Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes! R right! Takarapto Poporunga! Puparito Paro! They're glowing! And the sky! It's getting dark! Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth! You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, now state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans. Banda Parura, Ruti Meraru, Fan Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchiro, Itash Kunchpa, Kontero, Rupche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. They can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good. Okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. 
You have to warp me to Namek! Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good! Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dinde, ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Puya Kirigo! Ootaku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. Kame! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Karumopara Akororu, Stenonipuro, Picoloru Magaka, Kamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a massive energy in the distance. Ugh, it must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others! I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here. But what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where is Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but... but you didn't say where. D did you want me to have him sent here? Oh, no, no, what are we supposed to do? <gasps> uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! W wait... We get three wishes! So that means... There's still one left! What are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh, man. We're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinte. Grant Vegeta's wish. I hate to admit it. But he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes. Dragons disappeared! And the Dragon Balls, they're... they're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally... died. What, what do you mean? 
What about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, oh no. It's Frieza! Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale! You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! <laughs> We're... we're doomed! What is this power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising. And the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? You say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. What did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now! Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet! Go on! Transform! Show us what you really look like, Frieza! <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige! You're in for a rare treat! Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form! His power level! It's insane! <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. What? No way! Ah! Ah! Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Damn you, Frieza! Now then. Who shall I send to hell first? How about you? Krillin! What have you done to him? The energy from before is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. <clears throat> well, he looks just like me. Must be Namekian. So, you're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. You probably also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but you're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power... it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You... you might have... actually been able to take on Frieza. If you recombined with your other half. What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fused back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. But I. I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> then... Then fuse with me. If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold. Maybe more. What? Fuse with you? <laughs> There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. <laughs> your mind will still be your own. Quickly! Place your hand on my body! <sighs> Fine. I'll do it. <clears throat> Make Frieza suffer for what he did to our people. <clears throat> oh, I'm planning on it. Unreal! This power! It's unbelievably incredible! So... So this is what he was talking about! I'm on my way, Gohan! What's wrong, Vegeta? Are you not going to save him? Worm still alive. My attack should have been fatal. You won't be able to cheat death again once I've torn you into a million little pieces. Solar flare! <laughs> My eyes! Now, Vegeta, attack him with all you got! You're still alive! Here, let me heal you! <gasps> he, he had that kind of ability? What are you doing, Vegeta? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Namekian Runt had the ability to heal people? 
Because we didn't know either. If we had known, we would have had him heal Goku. You really surprised me there, Dende. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> His power has increased rather significantly. I suppose it's because he has the blood of a Saiyan. It might not be much, but it should be enough to tip the scales in our favor. Impossible! That little cretin was on the verge of death, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Something's coming! Mr. Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Of all the people to show up, it had to be the freak we killed back on Earth. The Dragon Balls were used to bring back this dead weight? What a waste! Sorry to disappoint you, but let's make one thing clear. I'm coming after you next. Once I take care of Frieza, that is. So another Namekian worm has come to die. Back off. I fight alone. What? What? <laughs> it's your funeral. You have no idea what you're up against, but fine. Go ahead. No way. He's actually fighting on par with Frieza. No, he's doing better than that. Wow, I knew Mr. Piccolo could do it. <laughs> I must apologize for my attitude before. I've underestimated you. But I'm afraid you're still out of your league. Allow me to demonstrate my true power! Well then, guess I'll do the same. <laughs> it appears you don't fully grasp the danger you're in. Did you think what I've shown you was the full extent of my power? What? You simpleton. You're clearly unaware that I've undergone a transformation. Prepare yourself. You're about to experience dread like you've never felt before! Transformation? Now, that I have your attention, it's only fitting that I instill you with hopelessness as well! With each and every transformation, my power increases quite considerably. And still, I have two more forms beyond this one. You know what that means, don't you? You can't be serious! Uh, no! He, he's got two more forms? Prepare yourselves! You have the esteemed privilege of being the first to see my next form! Rejoice! Two. Kidding me! No! You're wasting your time! I need you to beat me within an inch of my life, right now! Huh? <sighs> I apologize for the wait. Shall we begin round two? You monster! Maybe you now realize just how powerful we Saiyans can become when pushed to our limits! What are you waiting for? I can't get a power boost if I harm myself. I need you to do it! With that little Namekian's healing ability, I can recover from whatever you do almost immediately! I'd love to beat the snot out of you, believe me, but I can't. I mean, Goku's gonna be back any minute now. Kakarot isn't going to get stronger, he's a loser! Now, while I could snuff the life out of you in my current form with the most minimal of efforts, I wonder... Yes, I think I'll demonstrate to you just how truly terrifying my power is before I end your pitiful lives! <laughs> Ah! 
Now's our chance! Hurry up and do it! Good. This should work. Go on! You have to get out of here! Oh, right! did you say? What in the hell do you mean you can't heal me? You killed so many of my people. I, I can't heal someone like you. Why, you insignificant little... I need to help the others. Are you okay? Thanks a lot, kid. Quillen, why did you attack Vegeta? Don't you remember? Saiyans get stronger every time they survive a fight to the death. That's why Vegeta asked me to attack him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dende, look, I get it. I know why you don't want to heal Vegeta, but we're screwed if he can't fight. But... Just heal him. I'm not strong enough to take Frieza on my own. <sighs> What's going on? Is that Frieza? His transformation's complete. Dende, please! We need you to heal Vegeta! <sighs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Frieza should be no match for me now. Finally, feast your eyes on a Super Saiyan. He's coming into view. So small and compact, but it's intense. Guess it's true what they say. You can't judge a book by its cover. Still, I think I liked his other forms better. Sorry I couldn't help you guys out. I know you all went through a lot of trouble trying to wish me here. No, I couldn't help but notice that little Namekian had the ability to heal you. I'm afraid I can't have any more of that. <laughs> well then, let's begin, shall we? I made you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you felt before. His speed is incredible! So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now! It seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch. But I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear. A Super Saiyan! Frieza's final form. <laughs> 
You haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done! I can see you! Impossible! Th this can't be happening! I am a Super Saiyan! Go to hell, Frieza! I don't believe it! This can't be! Absurd! This can't be the extent of my power! Are you finished? I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. Overflowing with power. It's actually kind of freaking me out. Whoa, I better get going. Hang on, guys, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> 